ambulance driver is that was my first option in my life to in my career it's not it was not football it's like i want to be ambulance driver because i work in the hospital i do a lot of evacuation for the people who are sick even the the women are pregnant and lose baby and you know you have to do three hours or two hours driving to take them to the good hospital. But in the other side, like Big Brother, they tell me like, you have to go play football. You can help your community, you know, you know, for to this way than to be ambulance driver. Somebody can be driver like you. We can find it adult, but we cannot find a lot of player like you. My, my, my best friend, I always say is my I look at him every day, even I go back home. He's getting old now, but this is my, is my man, that's my dad, because I see how he's doing to, to give us food, you know. Uh, for me, he's the, he's the great dad, he's the, he's the best, he's the he's strong guy. And every time I see him, I'm saying, ah, this guy is, 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 this is my man. He showed me. He showed me the way to be, to be like how to make my life, how to, to be strong, you know, how like, to manage my life, to give, to be, to work and working hard. When I signed professional, I say, you know what? I have to look after him until my end of my career, and that's what I'm doing. I said to him, stop working because now he's, he's old now. Stop working everything. Uh, you need, I'm going to give you for, for free because you deserve it. You and mom and sister, brother uh, at home, you know. When you come from Africa, I arrive to France, I don't know nobody. And even before I come, I'm saying, where am I going? When I arrive, the, the first thing I see, and I didn't see it all my life when I'm in Africa, is snow. Oh my God. I say, I'm going to go back. I got, directly when I arrive in Luxembourg, I say to my, to my, my, my agent, I, I'm going to go back home because I cannot, it's too cold. And after that, when I arrived to, to, the, to the academy in, uh, in FCMS, and you know, everything getting hot, and I tried to adapt, you know, even the football, you know, it was very, very hard because it's not, it's not the same style football. You know, I have to to jump now to be like European footballer, you know, but it was like in my mind, I'm saying I am here. I have to do it because I know what's happened behind me at home. And now I have to make it to help family. You know, after I come to the capital in Dakar, Dakar, after I come to France, France, Germany, and after Free Freiburg, I see myself in Newcastle, you know, and um, this is my team, Newcastle United. I still love this team because when I when I arrived there is the fans, you know, the club, it was amazing, you know. People they they are they helping me for any every way, you know. Even you can see it in my first six months because when I arrive, I feel very very good, and that's happened to my is you can see it, how I'm playing as well, you know? Because even in the dressing room, you know, uh, in the club, the fans outside, even in the stage, stadium, how they, they help us is, help me is, I think that's helped me to score like 14 game to score th th um, 13 goal, you know? And honestly, I always like, say thanks to this fan, Newcastle, Newcastle for the Jory people, you know, <laughs> I always call them Jory people. Newcastle is my team, honestly. I never have team, I didn't support any team in my, all my life, but when I arrived in Newcastle, I have it in my heart. Yeah, I have this club in my heart. It's still there, black and white. It's the best thing can happen for the, for the player, footballer, to, to represent your country. Because, you know, you play for your country is, is different to play with your, your, your club, the team, the club. The difference is like, 
I don't say you don't play with heart in the club, but in national team, it's like you put it yourself first. It's you. Because you say, if I lose, maybe my mom going to cry. My dad don't feel good. My brother, sisters, you know, they don't feel good. You take it from like, take it in family thing. Like they are part of in this game because they are, they are Senegalese. Like we, is my country. I play for the, for, for Senegal, like maybe 11, 9, 11, nine, 11 years. I was captain as well. And uh, I know we didn't win trophy with the, um, our generation, but believe me, we, we do our best to, to make our, our people be happy. And like, thank you, everybody playing in Senegalese team right now. They win African Cup, you know, they're doing good in World Cup. I just always say to them, thank you. Thank you very much what you guys are doing because we run behind this trophy, you know, long time. We didn't, we didn't bring it home and you guys bring it home. Honestly, this, I can't tell you it's true. Chote, it was, it was part of me, you know. We have holiday for one week. And I say, I'm going to come back to see you because I di we didn't, I didn't see him long time. It was like two hours because it was Ramadan. You have to go fasting, something like this. And uh, I say, you know what? I come back in, in four days because miss you to speak with you, you know, seeing you, you know. When I go back to my, my city, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, the last training was Thursday for me and I'm going to eat in one restaurant with my friend and my driver and something strange come in in the car like my driver he look in the phone and he checking me like it's a bit strange and and I, straight away I don't feel good I say John what's going on he say ah papi I say tell me what's going on because the way you are looking at me, I don't, I don't feel good, you know. Yeah, when um, they take him, the, they say like he's under the training. He fell down, and when the helicopter arrived in the pitch, the way they take him, and before the helicopter arrived in the hospital, he passed away in the street, in the way. But it was, it was too, too very, very hard for me. But if I think how him family, the kids, they were so young and the wife was pregnant, that's, that's more difficult, you know, because I was in him family. He's, he was in my family and um, I was there too for, he was not brother, he's, um, he was not friend, he was brother. And we, we have a lot of hard moments together in football. Even in the life we're speaking, we, we, we talk a lot of things together and I can't tell him everything and he can't, tell me everything, do to me everything. But if we become some kind of moment, like joke finish and we have to speak man to man, if we, sometimes I'm doing something, say, hey, stop this. It's like me as well in Empire, he doing something, I say, uh-uh, it's not a good way. We have this connection and we always respect it together, you know? And the only thing is like I'm. I feel sorry for the for the kids and the wife because if someone love him, him family, oh, wow, uh, yes. You know, I was. I'm so happy to have him like friend, so so happy to know him in my life. Yes. To be Muslim is not. It's not hard thing. To be Muslim is like peace, you know? 
and uh, happiness. And but to be footballer, professional footballer, to be Muslim, some part is not easy because um, the way the way you are you are standing, how how people they are look at you. But the only thing is like how you believe you inside you what's going on inside you today we see Sadio Mane and uh, even Idrissa Ganage Mo Salah they a lot of players around today they they are showing is yes it's possible to be Muslim and be professional footballer you can't be Muslim or not Muslim I gonna I gonna respect you how how you are who you are I don't I don't mind you be Muslim or not I'm just but the one thing I know myself, I am Muslim. I trust Allah. I believe Allah. This is my way, and I'm 100% Muslim. I'm always happy. I don't know Ramadan. If Ramadan is coming, I'm always happy. I'm, I, I, I smile and I feel good. I'm doing Ramadan and with training. Is, it depends how the club manages the thing. For you, you people working, well, doing Ramadan. We must, we are Muslim. I'm not alone in the club. We are maybe eight, nine, in the in the club. We all doing uh, Ramadan, but we're doing good. Honestly, it's it's going well. It's not everybody have lucky like this, you know. Thirty seven still running, you know. I'm playing game like in the week. I'm playing two game and I'm running all the game, you know. And I'm playing nineteen minutes. It's, and I feel very, very good. I'm saying, oof, I think I'm the lucky man ever in this world, you know. I gonna continue, like, whatever I can, my body can say stop. But for, I can't play now two, two years more. I can still do it, inshallah. I, I choose to go to China, you know, because I want to, I want to help, help people behind me. I have to sacrifice a little bit my career to honestly to go take this money. You know, honestly, you know, I I do that to to build some kind of thing to to help people in my in my country because you have to give back to help because you know what's going one day is not everything is not beautiful. But I have a um, company there. People are working there. They have salary every month and. Um, I even have school, English school in Senegal, and um, like I'm I'm building academy to give job to the for my country, my the people in my country. It's not like just my family, not like only my friend. It's like people in my country. I want to participate that for the development for my country. I say to my to my dad and the friend. I say, you know what? I gonna do build the mosque, not for you, but for Allah. To say to Allah, thanks for everything, what you give me in my life. Today, they are praying. They is not my mosque. It's the mosque for Allah, you know, because um, Allah give me everything in my life. I'm I'm so happy. I'm I have um, I'm happy. I have a great kids, beautiful wife, and um, I'm f honestly I can't complain. I just only can say thank you for Allah, and always say Alhamdulillah.